guys, you made it to Friday, the last day for our lap books. So we've already completed our cover. You guys have learned that the savannah, we're working on the African savannas in Africa. You went ahead and learned that the weather is hot there and that they have two seasons. They have the dry season where it doesn't rain a lot. That's their winter time and then they have their rainy season that's what is about their summer time we learned about different animals that live in the savanna you worked on writing some of the names of the animals that live in the savanna working on those letter recognition and the sounds especially that first sound the initial sound that each word makes we learned about living and non-living things and we sorted the living things that were in the savanna we sorted them by plants and and animals we talked about other ways that we can sort them by what they look like um another way that i heard that you could support support sort them is to sort them by what they eat so you some of you have learned about um carnivores and herbivores and omnivores um, so we them by what they eat. Are they meat eaters, plant eaters, or do they eat both? So great thinking outside the box for that one. So our last activity that we're going to do today comes down here. And that's where we're going to need our parents' help. So the materials that we're going to use for this part is we're going to use the photos. We're going to be using this part of the lap book, a little camera that you can color. And we're going to be using our binoculars that we made yesterday. So this part will go down here. Once that's glued down, it'll make a flap. So I'm going to have you guys go ahead and color and glue that down. Remember that you're just putting glue on the edges so that we can still have a pocket. So you'll put them on the back and the edges. So you're going to put that right down at the bottom. So parents, the thing that you're going to be doing with this is I want you to take all those photos that were provided in your packet and I want you to go hide them around the house. So go hide all those photos. Now we're going to talk about camouflaging next week in one of our activities, but if you want to hide them real well, you can hide them around something that helps camouflage them. So our children learn that camouflage means blend in with the background. So if you happen to have something that's the color of the lion's mane, you can go hide it next to it so it can be camouflaged. So kids, after your parents have hid them all around the house, I want you to take your binoculars and go on a hunt like a safari. And you're going to hunt for them. And once you find them, you're going to get your camera and take a picture. Once you take your picture of your item, take it off the wall or wherever it was hiding and keep a hold of it. And that is where when you're done on your safari, you can stick all your photos in this little folder that says snapshots. And once you do that, you've completed your whole week in learning about the African Savannah. Good for you guys.